guys welcome and welcome back to my channel today i am filming outside it feels so good outside y'all but i'm just a disclaimer if you guys hear the dog in the background i am very sorry i am dog sitting for my sister at her house and if the camera is shaking i'm very sorry she keeps sniffing <laughs> the tripod <laughs> But yeah, y'all, I have something crazy to tell you guys, and it's freaking wild. So, let's just jump right into it. I'm, I'm sorry if I, I look everywhere else. I'm literally watching the dog and making sure nobody is out here just watching me because it's kind of weird. But, y'all, tell me how my baby father got me arrested he got me arrested y'all he literally got me arrested for the pettiest thing ever like the pettiest thing ever so basically when me and him was together we got together when i was around 16 um 16 i literally just turned 16 i literally just turned 16 and me and him got together whatever whatever we end up i end up getting pregnant and we end up having my son what's wrong all right we end up having my son and before my son turned one years old um um can i do my video <laughs> so before my son was one years old um his dad was the only one working. I was a stay-at-home mom at the time, taking care of my son and making sure the house is good and whatever. So basically, he came home one day from work, um, whatever. He was chilling, we was talking and whatever. So the next day, he was off from work. So I was like, all right, I decided to cook um something for dinner it was some chicken with some green peppers and red peppers and stuff like that so i remember this to this day y'all when i tell you um he decided he wanted to go wash his car and wash his car and do everything else and not spend time with me or his son i was getting irritated because me and him would never spend time together and i was getting like really frustrated because it was like well i was young at that time and when i look back at it it was retarded but i was only like 18 and me and him really didn't spend a lot of time together and it was like he was always working and then when on his days off he decided he wants to wash his car do everything else but spend time with his family cool so he ended up washing the car coming back in and I had an attitude I had an attitude and he was like what's wrong and I was like nothing I'll, I'm nothing whatever whatever so he ended up um, taking a cup of water and throwing it on me he took a cup of, of water and threw it on me and I got irritated so I took a cup of water and I threw it right back on him and y'all one thing leads to the next we're literally fighting like i mean like we're literally fist fighting like literally fist fighting and it was it was wild y'all when i tell you we was literally fist fighting um he ended up punching me on my arm he ended up punching me in my arm uh, i ended up biting him on his chest he ended up pushing me to the refrigerator and i ended up hitting my head so right there and then i was already ticked off i was irritated and he was like you bit me you bit me i'm calling the cops you bit me and i was like but yet you punched me but anyways <laughs> so he ended up calling the cops right there and then i got pissed i got so freaking furious i started taking everything and i started slamming it on the floor i took his friend's ipad that he was borrowing i slammed it on the floor i slammed glass on the floor i slammed everything on the floor because i was irritated because now you call the cops on me for what because i bit you because you hit me right what i was supposed to do self-defense i was supposed to defend myself so 
um he called the cops i ended up grabbing my son my my um he was not even one yet he was i think he was like around 11 months old i ended up grabbing my son stole his dad's truck keys because at the time we were we had his dad's truck so i ended up st stealing his dad's truck keys taking my son putting my son in the car and going straight to my sister's house and the newsy neighbors who, who who used to live upstairs told them that i stole his truck with our son in the car da da da, da. so the cops had came to the house looking for me and getting his his side of the story on what happened and all the case maybe so i end up going to my sister's house my sister's house because my brother-in-law is a police officer um uh, my brother-in-law is a police officer i can't say where but he's a police officer and i end up going over to my sister's house and i told her here you're gonna have to take him because i don't know what's gonna happen so Yo, why don't a uh, why a uh, 20 20 minutes later or 20 minutes later the cops showed up at my sister's house um knocking on the door talking about I just want to talk to you to get your side of the story. You're not under arrest or anything. This that and a third. So I told my sister, "Here's the keys to the his here's the keys to the um the truck and my wallet is in the glove compartment. Like hold my wallet and stuff like that cuz I had stuff in it." And so basically i gave her that and the i went outside to speak to the cops the cops told me oh i'm just getting girl you're not going down there so basically um i went out to go talk to the cops and he was like you're not under arrest i'm just getting your side of the story yada 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 that was a lie he he was like um i told him my side of the story on what happened and he was like oh turn around you're under arrest this that and third he did not read me my rights he didn't read me none 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 of that y'all but so if i knew what i knew now and he didn't read me my rights while getting arresting me i didn't have to go to jail for real so he ended up not reading me my rights end up locking me up um putting me in the back of the cop car i'm over here just screaming i'm like yo you're you're a liar you're a liar this that, and a third and i'm just shaking i'm just shaking at this point because it's like now my son has to stay with my mom and my um my sister and then my mom had to come all the way up drive four hours up from where she lives to see what's going on and all this other stuff crazy stuff so i finally got into the jail and whatever they do my fingerprints and stuff like that and they made me take my mugshot pictures and they were like oh what's your date of birth i told them my date of birth and they were like oh you sure um that's your date of birth and i was like yeah and i gave them my social eh? excuse me ah, she trying to sneak out from under the thing um i gave them my social and they was like oh, okay whatever they ran it in their system they was like well you're supposed to be in a juvenile um a juvenile jail and i was like not an adult i said first of all i'm 18 what is you talking about i'm supposed to be in an adult jail like what are you talking about eh? Mona. no y'all she's trying to sneak out through the little thing girl stop Girl, <laughs> Moana. So, look, say hi. Say hi, look. Say hi. <laughs> Girl, you heavy. Get down. <laughs> Get down, thank you. So, so basically, they're telling me that I had to go to a juvenile uh, detention center because I wasn't the correct age I, I stated. And I was like, how are you going to tell me my date of birth and my age? Like, it wasn't making sense to me so i gave them that they were like all right they told me to strip down butt naked y'all strip down butt naked i literally had nothing on they told me they gave me some clothes some shoes and i was like bro like this is this is not it like this is not it so they put me in a cell with all these other inmates and i'm just shaking i'm just shaking i'm just shaking because i was literally in that holding cell 
for freaking five hours five hours just to finish the whole process so I'm in there just sitting there and they were like oh you could um you could call um, um a couple people and whatever so I called my mom I was like she was like what's going on I told her what's going on I said he he got me locked up this then third um third whatever and um the police officer was like oh well he's pressing charges on you I said he's pressing charges on me on his baby mom he's pressing charges on me so I told my mom I was like he's pressing charges on me this that and third and my mom was like all right I'm coming I'm coming up there because that was that time I was living in Florida she was like okay I'm coming up there um I'm four I'm gonna be four hours away this that third and she was like where's the baby I was like oh um, the baby's with my sister and she was like okay i'm gonna go over there and figure out what's going on so my brother-in-law was calling around to figure out what was going on they told him that i had to wait to see the judge to figure out what they're gonna do and all this crazy shit. so basically um once they put me into a big area with all other inmates y'all when i tell you i had to drag a mattress and put it on top of a bump bed and jump on the bump bed literally jump on the bump bed because there was no ladders and they will wake you up at five in the morning just to eat nasty nasty stuff like stuff that bro nasty stuff so i was glad that they and then i had a couple people asking me what i'm in here for this that, and third and i was like i told them i was like because i bit my baby pop and they're like what like you in here with people who like literally committed crimes like literally are doing time here and i was like yeah it's crazy to me so i end up um around eight nine nine in the morning i end up getting called to go see the judge so the police officer was telling me oh um just tell them that you're not guilty da 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 and i was like okay whatever so I went in the the judge room. I see my mom, my brother-in-law and my dad sitting there. I look, I glimpse over. I see them sitting there with a whole bunch of other people. That freaking courtroom was so freaking packed. So the judge called me by my number and was like, "Oh, this that the, um my whole number da 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 da," and was like, "Um, you're here for domestic violence. This that and third. You can't um." you can't see your son for two weeks you can't be around your son for two weeks you can't get in contact with your son's father if you get in contact with your son's father again you're gonna get locked up and go to jail for a year and i was like what like you're telling me i can't be around my son because you think i'm going to harm my child so i was irritated with that so within like 24 hours from meeting with the um the judge they told um they released it me to my mom and we had to have dhs come and all this crazy stuff for my son and dhs had to give custody to my mom until they were done with their case and investigations and all this stuff so basically i had to move in with my mom and live with her for a couple months and then my baby father does, um decides he wants to call talking about he's sorry he didn't um he didn't mean for this to happen he didn't um he's not he's not gonna press charges he's dropping the charges um he just wants his family back and this that and the third and my mom uh, my mom talked to him was like are you trying to get my daughter locked up for a year like what is wrong with you you're not supposed to get in contact with my daughter and she's not getting supposed to get in contact with you so why are you calling her so he wasn't he wasn't listening to that he was just he was just upset and decided there so my mom called his dad and was like listen you need to handle your son because he's not supposed to be getting in contact with my daughter he's the one who got my daughter locked up my dad when i tell you my dad ever since that day he got me locked up my dad never liked it him never liked it him and it's like you did that to yourself bro like you did that to yourself you hit me so i defended myself back and and you wanted to cry wolf and call the cops like what but it was it y'all it was crazy so after the dhs situation went 
they closed the DHS situation. I end up moving my dumbass end up moving back in with my baby pop because he was like yeah we're gonna work this out um i want my family back this that and third just talking in my ear and i was like okay like i guess we're gonna work it out and whatever and girl who is you working at so we end up um she scared the shit out of me I don't know you. Hold on. I left off because the dog done distract me. The neighbor just came out walking her granddaughter. And the granddaughter got some squeaky stuff and the dog's barking. But yeah, yeah. So I end up being stupid and moving back in with him. We didn't fight like that, but it was like our relationship was just off. And it was just like, it wasn't it. And I knew from a, the get like I should have never got back with him like things wasn't going to be the same because he's a Pisces and I'm a Pisces and for real for real Pisces and Pisces don't get along together because a Pisces thinks they want to do this that and the third and the other one wants to do this and a third and we can't come to an agreement that's how I feel in my opinion if you guys are a Pisces or in a relationship with the same zodiac sign and you feel like y'all just going like that that's basically what me and him was doing was going like this like 24 7 so yeah but that's basically my story on how I got locked <laughs> I got locked up y'all she wants that squeaky thing whatever the baby has um so basically that's how I got locked up and that's my crazy freaking story for you guys but hopefully you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications to be notified when I post another video. Hopefully you like this video. Um, let me know if you guys had any freaking experience with your ex. Or anything crazy like this. Or something similar. Or I don't know. Just let me know what do you think. Because y'all it's crazy. And I know the sun is in my face. The sun is definitely in my face. I was trying to give y'all a new scenery <laughs> on recording. So hopefully y'all didn't hear a lot of cars and planes and stuff like that. But yeah. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. It's helping my channel out and growing and being a good content creator. I'm trying to be <laughs> and sharing my experiences, my life experiences and being open and vulnerable with you guys so yeah um, I'm gonna see you in my next video I'm gonna be over here for a couple days dog sitting house sitting for my sister and yeah we're gonna get some content in do what we gotta do but yeah y'all stay safe stay safe stay blessed and yeah bye